How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we have the last Foot Champions rewards of the year. Now, it's been a good ride this year on Foot Champions for me. I think I could have performed better at some stages, but I hope to push forward in FIFA 20. So if you do want to see how we get on in the new FIFA, please do drop a subscription on the channel and drop a like if you enjoy. Let's hope we can get some insane red rewards in this final video. I hope you all pack something amazing if you're still playing Foot Champions if you're crazy like me, but let's get straight into today's video. So here we go then guys, into Ultimate Team for the final time in FIFA 19. And this year seems to have gone so, so quick. We've had some good rewards. I think the best one for me was maybe Koulibaly, red reward, or maybe Alejandro Gomez. He was worth around the time 500k. Hoping to better that today. Um, I think Alejandro Gomez we got from gold three. So what we're going to do, is we'll do the division rivals first. We got rank one, division one. So done that a few times now, and I'm pretty happy with how it's gone. We're going to take the untradeables, just because you get two ultimate packs, may as well. So we get two ultimate packs, two mega packs. Mega packs are never any good, but we'll give them a go. Rank one looks very, very nice. Wonder what the rivals rewards will be like in FIFA 20, whether they'll just keep them the same, who knows. But I think to achieve rank one at the start of FIFA 20 is going to be very, very hard especially uh, in Division 1. But we'll start with the Mega Packs, no messing around. See if we can get anything from these. I think these are one my worst packs, the Mega Packs. The two Ultimate Packs um, from the past few weeks, we've actually got walkouts, I think, out of every one. So, yeah, the, the Mega Packs are just... Oh, we get a Gold Pack, and we get a 1,000 coins. So, at the start of FIFA, that'd be pretty nice. But at the end, no use to us, really. Um, what we're looking to get from the ultimate packs would be, I've opened the gold pack, would be an icon. I've never packed an icon before, only from the icon guaranteed packs. Um, we've, o we've, only, we've only got lucky, well, we haven't even got lucky from them. They've been pretty rubbish. I think the ones we got maybe were like, the best one was Hadji, his middle card. We're not getting anything from these mega packs. Doesn't surprise me. I think it opened around 10 in a row before and got nothing. Best player was Banat. Uh, and we'll just discard the rest because can't be bothered to sort through. And now it comes down to the ultimate packs. So, two ultimate packs. You'd expect walkouts from these. I think to buy them, monetary-wise, as I always say, very expensive. So, walkout, please, EA. We get a walkout. Can it be an icon, please? Oh, I just want one time if it to be an icon. Brazilian? CDM? Is that Casemiro? Oh, it's Fernandinho. So, yeah, not the best. But another walkout. I think the ultimate packs always do seem to give a walkout, which is quite good. That's a good pack, you know, at the start of FIFA, can you imagine how much that would cost? Sterling next year is going to cost around, what? And Skriniar, didn't even, and Pepe, that is a pretty decent ultimate pack, if it was the start of the year, like I keep saying. Um, loads of these cards, but I think they're all pretty much untradeable, so we'll just get rid of them. And probably my last ultimate pack for FIFA 19. So, EA, are you on my side? Do you want to give me something good? Let's see what we do get. Um, let's see what we do get. I'm hoping, hoping for an icon. Come on, here, just a walkout. Give me the hope that we're going to get something amazing. Come on. Oh my god. It's not even a walkout. I've been saying how good these are for walkouts. We've got Jekyll. That is absolutely terrible. And that is why you shouldn't put FIFA points into the game. 285s as the highest rated from it ultimate pack is tragic and we'll just discard the rest and what we'll do is we'll take a look at the foot champions team and then we will get onto the red player picks i'm hoping they can redeem themselves i've got a few cards i know i want in mind and um, so some of the ones we really really are after obviously if we look at the loan cards ear have been given to us obviously yes we'd be very happy with the uh, team of the season ronaldo that card would be amazing. And then Mbappe team of season. This Salah, everyone seems to get him, so can I have him, please? Van Dijk team of season, please. Um, Havertz team of season. The ones we've really used as loan cards would be unreal. A red sun would be amazing as well. So let's just get into it. Foot champions, we finished gold two. Um, didn't really see the point in playing on. Managed to think I won 10 games in a row on Saturday night, which secured the gold too. So I'm really, really happy with that. We obviously get the guaranteed pick uh, of the top five league. So please, EA, please, please, please. 
Can we get something really, really good? I'm not sure how I'm feeling, but we'll just go for it. Come on, please. Oh my days. The best player is Haller. And here's our... Here's the, um, the top five pick as well. So you could either take Felipe or Haller, the new West Ham man. For me, I think what we're going to do is take Felipe. He's... Um, Sort of fits in the team. We've got Brazilian Thiago Silva. And we've got the Brazilian right back. So we'll take Felipe. And the last red pick of the year. EA, please, don't do me dirty. Give me a Salah at least. Everyone gets Salah. Come on. Come on, come on. Yes, Salah. Come on. Everyone gets Salah. Oh, my days. Yes. Everyone seems to get Salah. That's just so weird. I've joined every man and their dog in getting Mohamed Salah. Oh, we could take the legend Van Persie, but no, we're taking Salah. Come on. Yes, the best red player pick of the year for me goes Mohamed Salah. I think he's worth, what, 800k? Yes, finally we get a good red card. Yes, now he fits perfectly into the team as well. Um, we'll just have to swap it around, but that is so, so good. I think everyone just seems to get Mohamed Salah. 97 rated from gold too is so good. We'll swap him out for Paul Dummett, the uh, recent info. The red Mohamed Salah comes into the team. Get rid of all these loans. And there he is. That is beautiful. So I'm definitely going to be playing uh, Division Rivals uh, this week. Test him out. He's going to be... He's just brilliant. I think his loan card for me got like 15 goals in 10 games and about 8 assists. So finally we get a good red card. Thank you, EA. And we've got two rare mega packs and a rare gold pack. So couldn't be happy with them rewards, to be honest. We actually did manage to get an insane pull. Um, did, didn't take long, just took till the end of Foot Champions. But these cards are just going to be straight sent to the club and discarded. I can't wait for FIFA 20. When we just get them in forms, in packs, I just hope we can get something good. For the past two years, I've got Martial in form at the start of FIFA, and then uh, Gabriel Jesus, red in form as well. I don't know if that was this year, but using them cards throughout the year was just amazing. And actually gaining, I think, Martial, the red card in FIFA 17, I think I had about 700 games on his card. So hopefully we get lucky. I'm going to be playing a lot of foot champions in FIFA 20. So much division rivals. We've got Bernardo Silva, Rashford. Um, I can't wait to just see how much coins, or how many coins we can generate going into the new FIFA. So there we go, we finally get some luck in FIFA 20. I hope you've enjoyed the video, I'm going to be smashing out the FIFA 20 videos so, so soon. But that is going to be it for today. If you did enjoy, please do drop a subscription on the channel to see more FIFA content, but I'll see you all later.